you queer cats are tone setters The same reason my main legion of chrome wetters With long cheddar, mixed with lines written No time slipping, when we rhyme spitting Divine mission, since the house days G.A. Grandma left DJ Tanner outrage The South stays, about that Beretta clapping Lines balance with Head on over to Spotify and all other streaming platforms to check out the No Mercy TV podcast. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy, Trap New York shit, nomercytv.com. Um, part in the other video that y'all may or may not have seen, <laughs> you feel me? Um, I didn't realize that I forgot to turn the mic volume up on my software before I started recording. So unfortunately, because there was no audio being recorded, I have to do this video all over again. <laughs> you feel me? But um, that happens, man. If you if you do this blogging shit for real, everybody done had one of those moments where you done recorded a blog, you done saved the file, you done thought you recorded it, and then boom, you go to check the shit, no audio. You feel what I'm saying? If you a blogger and you see this video, Please let me know in the comments if you have done that before. You feel me? But um, it's been quite a while since that's happened to me. You feel me? But um, it happens, yo. It happens. But um, anyway, last night, man, drugs and uh, shoddy horror kind of had a little war of words on Twitter. You know, um, it started with shoddy horror basically um speaking on. You know how everybody's talking about the battles on beats and stuff like that. Well. Shadi Hara was shouting out, you know, premier battles in terms of, you know, I guess they probably doing something right now where they're battling on beats or maybe they've done it in the past or whatever. So, um, drugs responds shouting out verbal war zone because let's keep it a buck. Verbal war zone got it right now. Just in terms of battling on beats, like verbal war zone got that feel. You feel me like that, that raw um battle over beats they picking fire beats and classic beats for niggas to rap over like they got it right now so drugs um was basically you know speaking on them and um when shoddy horror retweeted it um he said something to the effect of like yo y'all um uh it was called the jump off or something like that basically shouting out the jump off which was another platform back in the past that was doing battles on beats, you feel me? But when he replied to drugs, he said something about, let me give you a history lesson, young man, or something like that. And um, I feel like this. I, f I think from Shadi Horror, he wasn't saying that to be, to, with intent to be malicious or disrespectful, but two things. Number one, drugs is a hothead. You feel what I'm saying? So the minute you say anything even remotely in violation, he's going off on you. You feel me? But um, number two, you also can't dictate how people receive like certain words. Like even if you've been paying attention to the Ace I mean and John John thing, right? Ace I mean took uh, offense to, you know, being called a boy and stuff like that. And He's right. When you a grown man, you out here paying bills, taking care of your family, et cetera, et cetera. You don't want to be called anything other than a man. You understand? So anything that comes in, like young man or little boy and stuff like that, people going to take offense to it. You feel me? Like you just have people that's going to take offense to it, especially when it's something that's um in a comment like that where it's like coming off like a little sarcastic. You feel me? So um, drugs took offense to that. <laughs> then everything went left from there. You understand? Um. It was talking about fighting and, you know, Shadi Harwood bringing up the moon fight. You got uh, drugs bringing up how Shadi Harwood let Arsenal disrespect uh, his uncle for views and, you know, things of that nature. And um, basically, just a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, I personally feel like would make a good battle. You feel me? Um, both Shadi Harvard and Drugs are two widely known people in battle rap. If somebody booked this, this is a grudge match right here. You feel me? Um, of course, it's, you know, don't have no history aside from this. 
But me personally, as a person who, you know, knows what battle rap was created for and how it can be used as a platform to settle other issues, other more serious issues, it's like I see something like that and I'm like, yo, somebody pay these guys to battle. You feel what I'm saying? They've never battled before. It's a battle that wouldn't make sense, especially with this hefty back and forth. So why not? Um, in terms of drugs, he's been battling a lot of big names lately. He's at Arsenal, uh, Rum Nitty. You know, Shadi Haro would definitely be a great addition to that. You feel me? And um, in terms of Shadi Haro, while it's not a big name for him, it's still somebody over here who's valid on the come up still, you know, still working to get his weight up. And Shadi Hara gets another chance to show that he can hang with somebody from over here. And not to mention, you know how Shadi Hara probably still feel a way about, you know, that whole event falling apart and stuff like that. So it gives him another chance to uh, address a battler who we know for being on URL and still get his rocks off in terms of the other situation. You know, so it's one of those things that adds up. And plus, you know, with all the stuff they got to say to each other, it's like, let's see how this will come out. In battle rap format, you feel what I'm saying? Like they overseas, they across the ocean from each other, so there's not no beef that gotta get squashed or nothing like that. Like there ain't nothing happening to each other. You feel me? Ain't nothing gonna happen unless them two, you know, are at the same event or whatever like that. And outside of them possibly getting booked for a battle, they would never probably cross paths. You understand what I'm saying? So it's one of those situations that you know on that aspect, I don't even look at it as that serious. You know, but I feel like it'd be a chance to get possibly a great battle because they clearly know a lot about each other. They clearly have a lot to say to each other. So it's like, why not do it in the best way possible? Like we in battle rap, right? So battle, <laughs> you feel me? So whoever could set it up, whether it's Premier or URL or Cold Red or Don't Flop, whoever can set this battle up. I know it's COVID and all that. So Shadi Hara probably can't travel here and drugs can't travel over there. Shit, maybe it could be a quarantine type situation or who knows? Maybe wait till this vaccine get passed around a little bit and make it, you know, make, make it make it a battle. You understand? So, you know, um, who knows? But this is a battle that me personally, as somebody who's a fan of both of these guys, I wouldn't mind seeing it. I wouldn't mind seeing it, you know, and like I said, with, with the amount of stuff that they have to say to each other, like, this is just battle content right here. This is content for possibly a great battle. You feel me? So let me know in the comments, what do y'all think? Is this a battle that y'all would want to see or, you know, who y'all, who, if this was to go down, who would y'all have winning? You know, I don't feel like it's going to be a dog walk on either aspect because, you know, drugs with his dope delivery, his haymakers and his aggression, talking that street shit. And then you got Shadi Haro who... Is, is one of them dope wordsmiths, but he still talk that London, UK type shit. Like, I think this would be a great one. I think this would be a great one. So, you know, somebody get on the phone with them too, set it up and all that. But, um, yeah, man, I, I just, you know, it, it was a situation I noticed. And it's not like I'm making a blog on it just to be on some, like, drama shit. Like, no, I want to see a battle. You feel me? So, and that's what I'm going to start talking about when when... Y'all see people going at it on social media and stuff like that. We're going to start talking about how we need to be a battle set up out of it. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, um, all these guys that just have all these random differences and difference of opinion and arguments and stuff like that, whether it's Facebook or on Twitter, whatever, Instagram, we need to start seeing battles come out of these situations. So that's what I'm always going to go for. You feel me? So, you know, but uh, salute to both of them, you know. Let's see a battle. <laughs> you feel me? So let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy. I'll holla at y'all soon. I'm out of here.